Welcome back to Inspector Tool Belt Talk. Today we have a very special guest and I'm really excited about having him, uh, Ben Gramico. How are you, Ben? I'm doing well. Thank you for inviting me. It's, this is going to be fun. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. I've always I've always respected you. You've contributed so much to the inspection industry. You uh, and your whole family, you know? But yeah, it is a family affair. It is. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you, you've given really good information on many different levels. I, I've a lot, watched a lot of your webinars and it, every bit of information that I could get from you. Anything from how to market your inspection company, how to format a website, and also things like hydrostatic pressure and what's the proper way to bear this beam and, you know, truss uplift. You know, yeah. you cover a wide range of subjects, you know. Well, that's the that's one of the keys to our success at Internetgy. And um, it has been about a couple decades of producing content. And hopefully the content is interesting. Some of it isn't. You know, I ma married a, an Italian woman. And she she cooks like crazy. And in a, in an Italian family, you know, when you're cooking the pasta, one way to figure out if it's good enough to consume to eat is you throw the noodle on the on the cabinet door. And if it sticks, then it's good. It's time to get the the noodles out of the water. And that's kind of like internetchi. So we kind of throw a bunch of stuff on the kitchen door. And if it sticks, then it must be valuable to our members. And we kind of promote that. Some of it. You don't want to, you don't want to touch. You want to just throw that right into the garbage and we do that too. But uh, it's been a lot of fun creating content, creating content. That's the nice. key. And the content you don't want is a little too al dente. So you can't. That's right. That one. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, it, it was funny. I was, I was looking up some stuff about you. I mean, I've known about you and interacted with you on an electronic level to one degree or another for many years here, but yeah. uh, I was looking up some stuff about you and Man, your list of home inspection qualifications is insane. And I even yeah. came across a post that uh, Nick had posted one time. And mm -hmm. he said, look at my look at my brother's home inspection qualifications. Mm -hmm. it, like it wouldn't fit on a website. It was just this ridiculously long list of qualifications. You know your stuff. Um, nah, actually, <laughs> uh, there are there are Internet members and there, there are a lot of them are on a forum and they just they're so knowledgeable. Oh, yeah. Um, so I was never really a great inspector. I don't know everything and I don't know how to apply it all. But um, what I do is I help and support those who need a little knowledge, a little help, a little guidance, a little advice, um, some tips and things like I can find that information and bring it to them. And for the experienced veterans, um, you know, they probably enjoy going back and refreshing their minds a little bit. So um I don't know. I've got a long list of credentials, but it's basically f because it's required by the states and the provinces and the countries that we operate in. We have home inspectors all over the world. So someone has to be the local accredited or state approved certified instructor. So that's what I do. Like I'm a Florida home inspector. I've never performed a home inspection in Florida, right? I'm a, I'm a home inspector in other areas. I, I've never performed home inspection. I haven't performed an inspection in about 10 years for really for a client or so, maybe even more 15. But the only home inspections I do now really is um, in front of our camera. So our videographer will, will uh, film me doing an inspection or something like that. Um, so there's a lot, there's a lot of really experienced, knowledgeable master inspectors. I wouldn't consider myself as one. I just support them. That's well, my role really. Well, that's very modest of you. And I do agree that some of the guys on the forums just, they know their stuff, man. Yeah. They, they, they really know that the stuff they pull off the top of their head, they're like home inspection, Google. They just know yeah. it. It's just, and I there. love going toe to toe with some of them. You know, it's a <laughs> lot of fun because oh, yeah. we'll post something and they'll, they're so good at critiquing. Um, they'll question everything, even down to the detail of like a sketch that I'll do. And the, and if it's wrong, man, you know, we change our minds at Internet and we flip it and we fix it real quick because yeah. um, uh, one of the other keys to our success at Internet is we kind of listen to our members because they're smarter than us and they're out there doing all the hard work and we're there to support. So if we do something wrong, we apologize, fix it. But we're trying to do everything right all the time for our members. And uh, it's, it's a lot of fun to get that feedback on the forum 
uh, the forums are, uh, it's like the wild west. You gotta have yeah. thick skin. <laughs> there's a lot of, uh, stuff going on out there, but there's some really good folks who, uh, are really knowledgeable and, yeah. um, yeah, I'm proud of them. It's, it's always been one of my favorite spots to be and talk with guys. Um, but I think the point that I'd like to make is that you're, you're one of us, you're a home mm -hmm. inspector. You, you kind of know, you know, the industry, you don't kind of know it, you know it. So I respect that a lot because, you know, there's always going to be somebody outside the industry who brings in value, but the, the, you're inside the industry, you know it. So you, you started out as a home inspector many, many years ago. Can you tell us a little bit about your home inspection career? Yeah, I, I was a home inspector for about a dozen years in southeastern PA, the suburbs of Philly, um, about 200 competitors within a a one hour, a one hour radius, I would say. Oh, wow. We're really competitive and uh, we had great success. Um, but actually before that, though, uh, I was uh, in high school and I was building radon test kits. Um, back then it was charcoal, like you get 40 grams of activated charcoal, we throw it in a tuna can, put a screen on it. And then universities were doing research on radon because it was kind of new back then. And um, I hired my friends in my dad's garage and we built hundreds of thousands of <laughs> radon kits. And then I started doing radon tests for real estate agents during transactions. And then we did radon, uh, Nick started a radon mitigation system. So we found radon and then we fixed it. Um, and then we went right into um, building, building homes. Um, didn't do too many, but uh, Nick and I, my brother, Nick, the founder of Internet G, we did all the work. Um, so we built only three homes. Uh, we can only do it in 10 months. So we did all the work. So I was a home builder, um, radon tester, home builder. And, and then when we built homes, um, this guy, this old guy on a Harley would drive up to the houses that we were building and he would critique us <laughs> and we couldn't get any draws from the bank until he passed us. So he'd have his checklist and he'd come in and it, it, it's 15 minutes maybe. And then he'd leave. Well, one day we, we talked to him and it was like, what are you doing? And he said, well, I'm a home inspector. You know, and I also do these loan draw inspections for folks who are building homes. And uh, we're like, well, how much money do you make? You know, and I'm like, oh, that's what we want to do that. And so we started a home inspection company. And that was the best thing in my whole life. It's so much fun being a home inspector. I enjoyed every minute of it and learned everything we could about it. And we grew our inspection company from just my brother and I to uh, a multi-inspection company. And um, that was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, I can tell in your voice that you look <laughs> you look back on that with a lot of... Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. And it's kind of funny that your life changed with a guy on a Harley. Was he really driving no. around on a Harley? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Really? And you can hear him coming, too. Uh, today's the day. He, the bank guy's coming. Yep. So, oh, man. And pull up in the drive. I can still see him. And it's just... What a great life he was living, I was thinking. What a, what a great life to be an inspector, you know? And that's what we did. And it was a great life to be a home inspector. It we really should. is a lot of fun. Oh, it, it totally is. I've always related it to being like Han Solo. Like you're just <laughs> flying around in your spaceship doing cool things. Yeah. <laughs> and and now, we should do a, now we should do a podcast on home inspection vehicles and talk about Harleys. I think that'd be a great one. You know, you, right. got, you got your saddle on the side that you can put your tools in, you yeah. know, strap your ladder to the back. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. And that's a great story. So that brought you here to Internashi. And what is your position and what do you do at Internashi? At Internashi, I'm the chief operating officer. Basically, I'm responsible for the day to day operations. Anything that's going on, I'm responsible for it. Um, taking direction from our founder and CEO. And uh, also, I'm the director of education or the dean of the Internashi School. And it's funny that I'm doing this podcast today because uh, I like to say that um, we just got reaccredited as a home inspector college oh, wow. by the U.S. Department of Education. So it's Friday, April 29th. We go through reaccreditation processes just like at every school, uh, accredited college and university. And today we just got reapproved. They extended our accreditation. So we are a home inspector college as well. So there's a home inspector college inside Internachi. So Internachi is this huge organization. I'm the CEO of it. And inside it, 
is a home inspector college. So if you're a member of this big group called InterNACHI, you have access, free access to an actual college. You can download your college ID card if you wanted to. You could apply for uh, movie tickets at a student uh, college student discount if you wanted to. Um, and we just got reaccredited today. So we're celebrating today. Oh, man, that's insane. That That's a big deal. Um, and I guess that's a good lead into what we're actually talking about today. Yeah. Is Internashi worth it? And, mm. and it's a question that we see a lot of guys ask. And I think you just kind of gave at least one of the big answers to that question. But I see guys on Facebook forums and Nashi mm. forum and they'll say, hey, guys, just getting started. Is Internashi worth it? And it's interesting. Yeah. We were chatting before beforehand. I'm like, man, to me, that's a, that's a kind of a crazy question. Like, to me, it's like, yeah, of course it's worth it. I, I started all three of my inspection companies relying heavily, very heavily on Internashi. Yeah. And you you had a different take on it. He said, man, that's a great question. You you want to dig into that subject. Um, and I, I think it's I think it's good for us to talk about it. And I think this will be good as, first of all, if you're a new guy listening and saying, oh, that makes sense. And some of us may have been in Internashi for m- many years and not realize some of the benefits that we could derive from it. Or maybe we're yeah. not using it to the full. Yeah. Like I didn't know I could get discount coffee as a college student now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So just, just starting off, like um, I would say, you know, you don't want to take, don't take my word for it. Cause you know what, what my answer is going to be. So what can you do? You can go on the um, internet chief forum as a guest. You don't have to pay anything. It's free. You can just ask the, pose the question there, see what happens. You can go on Facebook. Facebook is live and active with a ton of people you can just ask that question like you mentioned um you can also experience it for yourself so if you're not a member and you like to see what internet is worth to you um just email me i'm on the contact page and i'll give you a free trial membership you can zoom around just like any full member and have access to anything um, you want and give it a give it a try but in um my answer would be um you have in anything, especially in business, you have to figure out um, the value, your return on investment, right? So what are you getting um, in relation to the cost? So in business, you, I'm always teaching about this fraction I have, like the top of the fraction, the numerator divided by the bottom of the fraction the denominator. So the numerator would be like value divided by the cost. And if the value is incredibly overwhelming in relation to the cost, then it's a good decision. So I was an ASHI member. I was a member of ASHI. I was a certified inspector of ASHI member for a few years. And um, other organizations, I'm a member of many other organizations. And every organization that you join as a home inspector, well, you got to watch the cost because it can Mm -hmm. really start adding up. So um, especially like a franchise, if you're thinking about a franchise as well. So you have to look at what you're actually getting and you should be overwhelmed by those things in relation to the cost. And so um, that works also for your potential clients. So if you're a home inspector and you're running a business, you have to think of this fraction as well because your potential clients are thinking about that. They want to be overwhelmed by value in relation to the cost. So if you charge a lot of money, like let's say $500, right? For a home inspection, which actually should be like the minimum, but let's say $500 for a home inspection, then you need to show the overwhelming, incredible value that you're going to provide to that potential client so that they can make a smart decision. And if they can't, if they look at your website, and they can't figure out uh, the value to cost ratio is kind of eh, iffy. You have a serious problem, right? So you want to think about that fact. You want to always think about providing overwhelming value to the cost. And if you're overwhelmed by that value, man, you you can demand higher prices as a home inspector if you provide incredible overwhelming value. So that's what I would say. Don't take my word for it. Just think about those those concepts and ask other people. Yeah. And that's a beautiful way to express it. We want to overwhelm people with the value that comes that comes from us as inspectors. And we've talked about that a lot on this podcast. Home inspection fees are too low. 
And actually, mm-hmm. James Gante talked about that a few weeks ago. He said, be better, make mm-hmm. yourself appear better and charge more. Don't yeah. worry about, com- he, he always says, don't compete. Why do you need to yeah. compete if you have that overwhelming value? And I think the first thing that comes to mind with Internashi is certifications. Mm-hmm. So when I first started, you know, I kind of had this mentality. I know about a house. I've worked on them my entire life. It was part of part of my family. It's what we did. Why do I need a certification to tell people that? Yep. But uh, um, when you're beginning, when you're starting off, no one trusts you. Right. No one knows about you. So what you want to do when you're beginning is you want to borrow trust. <laughs> you want to you want to borrow someone's trust. You want to borrow someone's validation of you. So you could do that in a couple of ways find people, do something nice for them, like a free inspection and ask for a referral, right? Because hiring somebody new is risky. So you want to reduce that risk or eliminate it when you get a referral. So um, you want other people to talk well of you and InterNACHI can do that, right? We can train and certify you. We're an accredited college that certifies inspectors. There's no better certification mark or designation you can get than InterNACHI's. You can be certified by a for-profit school somewhere. You can be certified by Bob or Mary, but that really doesn't have that kind of trust level. So InterNACHI is this huge, big accredited organization all over the world. And if we say you're certified, check out his or her logo to prove that they're certified. That you're doing great, that you're borrowing trust, you're getting referral from InterNACHI, right? And so um, you wanna think about that. You wanna think about using um, InterNACHI to your advantage. And if it's a certification logo that helps, go for it, right? Um, And in business, you wanna always think about um, leveraging systems that do work for you that you can't do yourself. So you can't just yell out, please trust me. So you wanna leverage InterNACHI in order to borrow that trust, that certification mark that says, I'm highly qualified. I'm one of the highest qualified inspectors in my area actually. And if you don't click this verification button and InterNACHI will tell you that. So in in business, you wanna put systems in place that do work for you. So you're not doing all the work because no one really trusts you in the beginning. So this is one of the ways where you can put a system in place for a, a low monthly fee if you're a member and take full advantage of InterNACHI's huge, big size. And um, that, that, that's probably a good idea to use that logo. And then in the certification logo, the CPI logo in particular, oh, by the way, don't, don't put InterNACHI's logo on your website or your marketing. That's, that's one of the dumbest things you could do. Don't help promote the organization. We're doing just fine. What you need to do is concentrate on you. So the CPI logo or any of the other 60 other inspector certification logos, you need to use that to identify your value that you're bringing to your clients. So use the CPI logo. The CPI certified professional inspector is a fairly registered certification mark that says you're you're highly qualified. Um, So I think the certification logos are um, valuable not only to beginning inspectors, highly valuable to beginning inspectors, but also um, valuable to continue your credibility throughout your uh, throughout every stage of your career. Yeah, and I love that expression that you used, borrowing trust. Yeah. You have this huge organization and you're just borrowing trust and presenting that to the client. Yeah. And, and I think I kind of relate it sometimes to going to the doctor. So I go to the doctor. I had a young doctor one time and I'm like, oh man, this guy's kind of young fresh out of college, but I tell you what, he had every certification hanging up on the wall. I didn't, I didn't read them. I didn't look at what they all were. They had a bunch of seals on them and it made me feel warm and fuzzy. He (laughs) he borrowed trust from whatever (laughs) accreditations these were. And I think he kind of knew he looked young. So I think he got a few, went out and got a few extra. But but when I started out, I I looked like I was 12 until I was about 35. Um, I'd go to an inspection and people would say, you know, is your dad going to show up? I'm like, 
<laughs> no, no, I might bring my uh, one of my kids here, but uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. I was I was young twenties when I was doing home inspections. Yeah. I was doing all the work. I was doing everything. It was it was great, and no one wanted to listen to me. Yeah, you know. Thought, uh, so if you got a bad young look, if you got a young look, you know, people now, you know, buy whiskers. They figured, <laughs> oh, for men, you're like, oh, yeah. the gray. I've got some. If you're watching the video, I got some on my beard here. Oh, you know, you're highly qualified. It's silly. Uh, people judge the book by the cover. And sometimes yep. you have to take that in consideration when you're doing your marketing plan. Remember the, the uh, commercial back in the uh, 80s or 90s called A Little Bit of Gray? Had this old guy sitting on a couch with a young guy. And they're uh, like, he's too old and he's too young. So they merged them <laughs> together. So you're right that that little bit of gray, it sells. Yeah. But, you know, it's funny if we don't have that or even if we do, it, we can still give people that warm, fuzzy feeling by saying, you know, here's my qualifications. Like the CMI qualification, Certified yep. Master Inspector. Yeah. Man, when I got that, that was a hammer. Oh, well, yeah. we're thinking about going to this other guy. Is he a certified master inspector? Oh, I don't know. I am. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Here. Yeah, that's um, that just shows that you are the best of the best. And I want to, uh, a little disclaimer, that's a totally separate organization of InterNACHI, <clears> like <throat> a, a cooperative relationship. But um, uh, CMI is really good. That CMI logo, like when you, when you call up a, a plumber, you want the master plumber to show up. I mean, when you call up an electrician, you want the master electrician to come up. So when you become a CMI, you have to go through a lot of education or years and, and or years. And so you, internet actually can help you with that to qualify to become a CMI, but you should take a look at becoming a certified master inspector if you're not. Yep. Yeah. And you can look in the transcript. We'll put links to all of this in the transcript for you. But yeah. um, with the same thing with the CPI thing, you know, hey, yeah. I'm a certified professional inspector. Here's 60 qualifications that I have. Yeah. Let, let me know if the next guy that you go to has those 60 qualifications. Yep. I, and, and, uh, sorry, I interrupt. No, sorry, no, interrupt. no, no, please. I want to hear your thoughts. Yeah. You, you mentioned the 60 certification, they're true, um, 60 and in, different inspector certifications. So don't just become a home inspector and certified, I mean, you got to diversify your services, especially in this market. You got to do, if you, if you listened, uh, to your podcast, uh, you know, previous podcasts, I listened to them, you know, everybody was talking about, doing other things. Like, uh, I think James was talking about doing, um, uh, uh, water, well, well inspections, you yeah. know, and, and same thing, um, with, uh, my home inspection company, we, we were an all everything you can get everything all one. Oh, what is it called? All one stop shop or something like yeah. that. You know, Your you can go shop. from, uh, uh, lead hazard risk assessments to home inspections, to mold inspections to, and you want to diversify your services. So, Internet she has those uh, opportunities for you if you want to do additional types of inspections and show even more qualifications. I guess that's one of the things that Internet she does well. We do two things well at Internet she. We we have everything you need. Everything you need: additional certifications, training, education, all that stuff, and marketing and business stuff, and and services and products and things like. That. We have everything you need, all in one place, and it's a low cost, right? It's that fraction again. So we help um, our members save money. I mean, you should keep your money in your pocket. So we go as low as possible. We got a $49 a month fee and you get everything that any full certified accredited uh, home inspector member has, right? So um, that's, that's that fraction again. Then that's, you know, your overwhelming value, low cost or low investment, huge return on investment. Always thinking about that. I'm always teaching about that to inspectors. You know, as someone, David, I won't mention his last name. He wants me to review a website for him. And I do this often for our members, just give him tips and I'm going to look at it and he's got five seconds to show me overwhelming value. And yeah. I'm going to click that price tab on website. You design websites, you know, you're looking for what's the cost, you know, the potential clients looking for the cost and the value and they're, they're doing that. Maybe they don't know that they're doing it, but and mentally they're doing that. They want to know what they're going to get for the, the fee inspection fee. So um, that's that's the other thing Internet actually does. We we have everything you need, and we try to use our size to get benefits, free benefits, exclusive discounts for our members, so you can keep your money. We don't want it. No, that's great, and that's and I'm glad you brought that up because forty nine dollars a month. So all this stuff that we're talking about, and there's a long list more, forty nine dollars a month. I mean, that's a nice lunch for two people, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so that that's not a huge fee in my opinion but you were talking about uh a little bit about 
clients looking for a one-stop shop. Yeah. And I think that's something that Internacia has helped me and my companies out with because yeah. years ago, you know, home inspection. All right. I just, I want to get that home inspection. I want to get that home inspection. And I'm like, you know what? We're destroying insect as a market that I'm missing out on. Then I did that. And I, I used primarily the Internacia course. And interestingly, I might not have thought about it if it were not for Internacia saying, oh, hey, here's a certification. Here's a nice course. Have you taken this yet? Would you like to take it? Like, you know what? I would like to take that. So yeah. it's it's the nudges and the certification, and it was good training. And we yeah. kept adding services and services until our average inspection fee sometimes for a morning inspection is $1,200 because we do septic and well and all sorts of things. I burned right. off my overhead for that inspection and added a whole bunch of stuff on. I mean, that's that's a nice morning. Yeah, and that that's right. If you really want to, there's only a few ways you can make more money at the, in the home inspection business. And one of them is a key is um, ancillary inspection services. Exactly. I mean, bundling up uh, a home inspection package for folks who don't know what the bundle is. Like most people don't know what they need. Right. Uh, someone famous has said that. I think Steve Jobs at Apple or something said that, you know, a lot of people don't know what they love or would want. So you actually have to start that conversation. If you've got an office manager or if you're good on the phone or if your email or texting is, is tweaked just right, you can prompt people to think about other services. Right. And InternetChi has these promo videos that help our members who are, who are not very good at, at selling, not very good at upselling. A home inspector just sometimes we don't like to talk, which is like kind of odd. Yeah. Uh, about ourselves, about other services, about selling people, you know, more services. But um, we help those who need like, so we have these videos and you put them on your mobile device, maybe an extra iPad you can bring to the inspect and you just hit play. And it goes through these promo videos that help you sell ancillary additional inspections while you're there. So the title is, uh, title of every video is while I'm here. You know, while I'm here, you know, maybe you have a radon problem. We don't know until we test. And so you can get those, uh, that increased gross revenue um, without adding your time. Again, that's that fraction again. The top part is gross revenue divided by your time. You don't want to increase your time for sure. You want to be efficient with your time, but you do want to increase gross revenue. Yeah. So let's go back to that fraction. So $50 a month or 49 yep. technically. So mm -hmm. one inspection, one morning, I made an extra... $800 on an inspection, I'm pretty sure that fraction is practically toppling over at that point. You know, yeah. it, so the value is not only immediate, but it's cumulative. Over mm. the years, it has just made me a better business person and able to give my clients better value at, while at the same time increasing the bottom line. That's right. Yeah. That's right. And you also want to show that to your potential clients. So um, get a good website designer, get a good marketing team, get, oh, the, the marketing team. So one of the benefits of being a member of InterNACHI is um, you have a marketing team. There's a half a dozen professional consultants, illustrators, designers um, that are available to you for free um, to design stuff for you, like a, a logo. All you have to do is place an order, like a business card uh, order. That's like a hundred bucks, but you get seven people working for you for as long as you want for your membership fee. Imagine starting off as a home inspection company, right? And hiring seven people to work on your marketing. It's just impossible. You can't do it. Um, so it, it's same thing with the education team. There's a half dozen people in the education team, all waiting for you to ask a question about training what to do next? What course should I take? What, how is it state approved? Can I get CE? How do I get a license? They're all working for you. Just they're sitting and waiting. You know, this is an incredible resource. We have 30 people at InterNACHI, full-time salaried people at InterNACHI. We're really blessed, but they all work for each member. And so that's a huge resource that you should, um, consider when or um, thinking about joining an organization or buying a franchise or something, how many people are actually working for you full time? Yeah. And you know, and I'm not just making this up to make everything sound flowery and awesome, but I really do love, oh, go ahead. Yeah, I really do. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Just lay it on me. <laughs> but uh, 
I really do love the logos and the brochures and business cards that you guys design. Our company actually refers people to Internashi because oh, great. It, we don't want a house with a magnifying glass on it. That's not going to brand you. <laughs> I've, oh, I, if, if I see one more house with a magnifying glass, my eyes are going to burn out of my head. <laughs> Just... I can't remember the last time I saw a magnifying glass. Do oh, we still do God. that in school? Do the kids still do ants and the sun and things like that? I, I, don't, I don't know, but I don't want to see it on a logo ever again. It's, yeah, it's, it's that whole Sherlock, Sherlock Holmes thing, you know, detective yeah. looking closely at things. Now, yeah. I think you can express that you are thorough and complete in your inspections. Yeah. Um, without using magnifying glass in your logo. Yeah, yeah. That's not the kind of brand you want to communicate. Yeah. Have something that brands you and your company without being cliche about it. You yeah. know, it's funny. You talked too about websites and stuff like that. There's a huge SEO benefit to being an international member too. A lot of guys call me who are brand new and they're either they know about SEO or they don't, or they'll say something like, Hey, I, I just, all I know is I just need SEO. Yeah. And somebody said, what can I be doing? I actually pointed them to Internashi because I did a little oh. experiment, oh. Um, which was kind of funny because they were just adding on to some stuff that we had done for them. And I did a little experiment. I created a profile in my Internashi account for mm. several different cities because I hear guys say, oh, I never get a lead from Internashi. Nobody ever finds me there. I My phone blew up. So about 20% mm. of them were people trying to sell me some uh, you know, insurance on my car or extended warranty or something like that. But 80% of them were live leads. Hey, I need an inspection in this city. And I would even go outside my service area a little bit. I'm like, oh, I'm sorry, but here, let me give you the name of another inspector. Oh, thank you. Here's the other international member. Oh yeah, they're on the list. Thank you. And I yeah. just did it as an experiment. I'm like, those, those are good hot leads. Have yeah. we, have we actually gone into our account and optimized it, added all our information, uh, created a created our profile to make it look nice and actually taken advantage of some of the benefits that Internashi has on the back end of things. That's just coming from an old SEO guy like me, you know? Yep. Yeah. You make a good point. Um, we're not very good at that. I mean, we see our members and they're not filling out like their profile. That's one of the things that they do, or they're not adding zip codes to their listing. Cause we, yeah. The internet is big on the internet. And so we'll, we're finding people searching, Google searching for a particular inspector uh, in a zip code, right? And they're going to pass up our internet members because their profile isn't updated. You got to add listings. You got to tell like our system, you're telling the internet where you work as a home inspector. So you enter your, your city and state and zip code and things like that. And you make a list and then if you've got a website, great. If you don't, you got to get one fast. You got to get online and you put that website URL right in your Internachi profile. And then Internachi has a search engine and there are people hitting it all the time. I don't know what the stats are, but it's a lot of people looking for an inspector. And we direct people to that Internachi certified inspector who has a profile that's all filled out correctly, like you said. And um, we, I'm going to, uh, in this upcoming year, that is the, the rest of the year, that is my goal. I'm going to try to get every home inspector <laughs> to update their business profile. But also like you go into your website and you there's a lot of stuff you can do on your own on your own website to make sure you're saying things right. And maybe even like when you do a selfie on Instagram or something, you need to end it with, you know, hire big band inspections from Boulder, Colorado, maybe throw in a phone number too. You have to tell people your name and your location, and maybe your phone number. It's that, you know, they used to call it NAP, uh, name, address, phone number. But, you know, it's still important to update your profile because that's one of the things Internet actually does. We send people leads for free. I was teaching a five-day class at the House of Horrors. Um, we have three House of Horrors, a, house, a whole house with a thousand defects built under our roof. And you can take a live hands-on training class. And all the instructors are certified master inspectors. And um, I was teaching, I open up the five-day class and I was telling people exactly this, like you're new. So I want you to go into your profile and update it like right now. And one person by the end of the five days got a ping, uh, somebody called. Yeah. So he was surprised because he wasn't even certified in the first four days. And then the fifth day he got certification had his profile updated and it actually worked. And I do it all the time on a webinar. Like I'll show you how this works. And I prove that it works on, the, and 
And I can show you like we have stats on how people hit your website. Now, like now it's up to you to convert. So what you want to do is get people aware that you're certified. You get you get trained and certified by InterNACHI. You take advantage of all the resources the InterNACHI has, like the logos and certification. But then it's really up to you to tell people. You have to get people aware. It's like awareness, I call it. You have to send out emails or talk to people or your neighbors or find a real estate agent or network or hire a real estate agent who's not busy as part of your growth team and get people aware of you. Okay. Now get ready. They're going to come back. Where are they going? Probably your website, yeah. right? They're not going to show up at your front door. So you got to have a website and you got to be able to convert them, right. which means you have to talk to somebody about your brand. Like internet actually has a team of marketing people to talk to you, talk with you about what makes you different from all the rest and how can we provide overwhelming value to the people hitting your website so that they see the, that the cost is, oh, that's, that's a really good decision and they're going to hire you. A lot, of, a lot of members complain that I'm not getting any leads yeah. or in the profile isn't filled out or I don't get any phone calls or any scheduling. Well, I go to their website, they don't have online scheduling. Right. Yeah, that's you got to have point. online scheduling. Yeah, it's the, right? it's the era of DoorDash and, you know, yeah. remote banking and people are just going to hire you online. Yeah. So we're trying to help our members through these steps. There's like basic steps that every home inspector has to do in order to get that phone to ring or that online scheduler to ping you that you've got a job. We, we can take you from zero to 60, um, probably in three weeks if you're totally brand new, but that's really concentrated. If you're a full-time uh, a worker or somewhere at a job, maybe weekend kind of stuff. So it's going to take you longer, but you want to get from zero to 60 as fast as possible by taking advantage of all the resources and steps that we provide to our members in order to start making money. And then when you start making money, it's the greatest feeling in the whole world Yeah, to make 350 bucks on a Saturday afternoon and you help people out with their dream home and it's just ah, uh, so and it's and they're your neighbors now, right? It's it's just so much fun to be a home inspector. It it really is, and I think you really well described what uh, people call a marketing funnel. Like we always hear that it's a buzzword, but basically, you just yeah. describe you get people to know about you, and you funnel them down to where they hire you, which nowadays yeah. is your website. There, most of us aren't going to have an office where people come and say, hey, I'd like to hire you as a home inspector. They're going to go to the website, get your phone number, whatever it happens to be. If at any point our funnel is leaky, like we don't have our profile filled out. Okay, well, you lost a bunch there. Your website doesn't have your phone number at the top. Okay, well, you lost a bunch there. You don't have online scheduling. You lost. See, if we have holes in our funnel, we can't say, well, I didn't get a lead. I've never gotten a phone call. Yeah. Okay, find, right. f- find the holes in your funnel because, again, I go back to that experiment. It worked for me. Yeah. <laughs> it, yeah. It, it worked for that guy in your class. That's so, right. You know, and just uh, talking to, I was thinking uh, about if you go to nashi.org forward slash benefits, the list of yeah. benefits is is amazing there. And just if, just with that fraction, even if you just want to break even with Internashi, let's just say you're, you're crazy like that and you just want to break even. I saved like $200 on renting a car through my Internashi deal. That bought yeah. me four months of Internashi. And then I say, I do that. Oh yeah. I, I use the internet discount. I, I rent, I fly around the country at, at conventions and home inspector events and stuff. And I use the discount. It, re, it actually works. Yep. Yeah. And the Ford one too. There's a lot of guys that buy, you just renewed your thing with Ford, didn't you? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Vehicles, computers, uh, tools. So <clears> like <throat> inspector outlet is a good place to get a tool at a discount. Um, the software, you, you know, and so, like, that's one of the things that you would expect an organization to do for you. And if we're not doing that, that's not, that's of no value to. So we, we work really hard at, at that kind of stuff. Yeah. Well, I think it's pretty clear to see we could talk for hours and days about if Internashi is worth it. And it really, really mm-hmm. is, in my opinion. Um, Thanks. You, you've really given us a lot to think about too, Ben. And I loved your fraction illustration and uh, helping us to understand a marketing funnel in simple terms too. But awesome. listen, if you want to get a hold of Ben, he's already offered to have you get in touch with him. Uh, do you want us to put your contact info- information in the uh, transcript there, Ben? That'd be great. I'm on the contact page, natchi.org slash contact. But um, 
just before I leave, can I, can I promote a new thing that I'm doing uh, in relation to coffee and webinars? I would love that because I love both. So I'm um, starting a new webinar. Um, I do a lot of webinars. A lot of them are just like technical training webinars, you know, according to the standards of practice, or we'll have a vendor um, selling something. But I just wanted to try a new kind of webinar for inspectors. It's, it's called Coffee with Ben. Um, I'm the Ben. And um, we have an informal chat time. I don't I have no agenda. I have no schedule. I, I, it could be five minutes. No one might show up or 100 people might show up. And we're just going to talk about business. Just as if you're meeting me for coffee and other inspectors show up too. So that's the kind of format I want to try. And if you're interested, um, we're going to promote it in the next InterNACHI newsletter. So go to homeinspectornewsletter.com, subscribe. And you'll get to have some coffee with Ben if you'd like. I might show up too, so you might get to meet me as well. I will definitely have <laughs> coffee either way, though. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> ben, I can't thank you enough for being on the show. You're awesome. And thank you for all that you do for inspectors out there. And uh, thank you. Yeah, we'll hopefully have you on the show again soon. Thank you very much. It's been an honor and a lot of fun. Let's do it again. Sounds great. Thanks.